In this one, let's take a look at finding a couple different limits that involve the sign function. So the first one, say, we'll have this appearance right here. The limit, say, as x approaches positive infinity of sine of 1 over x. So step 1, step 2. The sine function is continuous, which basically tells you that you can just slip the limit into the function. So you end up with sine of the limit as x goes to positive infinity of 1 over x. Hopefully by now you've studied at this point that the expression within the parentheses has a limit of 0. So you end up with sine of 0. And when you refer, for example, to the unit circle or just memory, you know that this value here is 0. And that is then the correct number right here, 0. Okay? That's a check mark, not something else. So now let's take a look at another example that involves this. You really should pause the video and try it on your own. Let me just write it down because it functions very similarly. So imagine it looks like this, the limit here as n sine of 1 over n, like that. So the limit as n goes to positive infinity of sine of 1 over n squared. You should pause the video to try it on your own. I'll do it anyway. It looks like this. Basically, again, you slip the limit into the function, so it ends up being the following. Not the limit anymore, but the sine of the limit as n goes towards positive infinity of 1 over n squared. Hopefully by now you know that the limit of the inner expression here, that will be equal to 0. So you're going to end up with the same thing, basically. The sine of 0. Again, by unit circle or memory, you know that this is equal to 0. And that is the correct value. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, and I'll see you in another video.